Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with Mixed Media Frenzy. And uh, I'm filming this the day before Thanksgiving on Wednesday uh, because I'm gonna be busy uh, cooking tomorrow. Uh, and you'll be seeing it on Black Friday. And I played around with the idea of doing a black mixed media, a, a black background for my mixed media layout for this hop. And um, actually I called it Mixed Media Frenzy. It's the Mixed Media Thankful Mixed Media, or it's the Mixed Media Frenzy Thankful Mixed Media Hop. I have no idea whether that was right. Um, I'll look it up and have it right before I actually <laughs> put the title in the uh, uh, in the video description. Um, so instead of uh, what differentiates it from our normal Fridays is that um, it, normally we have a lift that we've chosen, that the team has chosen, and we all lift it. We put it in an album on our Facebook page and give you a chance to lift it. So we have all this wonderful inspiration um, based on the same layout. And it's amazing to look at all the different uh, versions that you'll see. Uh, on Once a month, on the last Friday of the month, we do a hop and it's a themed hop and we encourage everyone to participate. So as many people inside or outside the, the team as would like to uh, can, can join in on the hop. And then we post all that on our Facebook page. There's an album for that too. So even if you haven't joined the hop, uh, if afterwards you wanna give that lift a try, you're welcome to do that. So uh, <laughs> despite the length of my um, introduction there, uh, I'm hoping that this will be a fairly short video. I've assembled my photo cluster, which is this adorable picture that was taken of Ava in 2010. She was two at the time, wearing a really adorable Happy Turkey Day shirt. And she was at her grandfather's house, her, her uh, grandfather on her mother's side, um, down in Orlando, Florida. And it was swimming weather at, in, at Thanksgiving. And so her dad or her mom, I forget which, took this photo through the plate glass window where she's looking longingly at the pool, you know, wishing they'd hurry up and, and uh, uh, let her go out and swim. And so it's, you see the reflection uh, in the glass there, but you can see her little shirt that says Happy Turkey Day, and I'm gonna just let that be my title and you can see the reflection of the pool back here. And so it's, and it kind of runs across her little face. It's just a, a, it's probably not a quote unquote good photo by professional standards, but I love it. Uh, and, and, and part of what I love about it is what's wrong with it. So enough said about that. I have done some marking. I want my photo cluster to go about right there. So I've done some marking there so that I'm sure that I get some of my mixed media um, to show around the cluster. I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna do something fairly goofy and fairly simple. I have this collection of um, Thanksgiving related, harvest time related uh, stamps. And there's this one that has a lot of fall hay rides, whipped cream topping, candy corn, pumpkin pie, goldenrod, a flurry of leaves, spiced cider, all these things, images of word images of the season. There's this cornucopia with all the, the pumpkins and corn coming out. Here's another cornucopia with uh, um, um, uh, grape leaves around a, a fence. There's a goofy turkey. And here is a, um, a wheelbarrow filled with sunflowers and there's corn like corn made and falling leaves. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to use them all but in a mixed media kind of abstract sort of way. So for my background, before I start stamping, I'm going to do a, 
an uneven coat of gesso. This is clear gesso. And the reason I'm doing it unevenly is that when I put the water-based medium over it, the color, I kind of want it to be streaked. And so it'll, it'll be absorbed differently by the parts of the paper that don't have the gesso on them. So I'm going to now, <laughs> um, and, and to further do that, once I put the color on, I've got this um, Vicki Booten uh, matte acrylic gel that I'm going to just kind of streak over the top. Um, just giving a, a kind of a, a faint, a, a, just a background. Okay, so I'm spraying some um, Calypso Teal uh, Dilutions ink spray because I think it best matches the pool water. So it's all about the pool water, right? So I'm gonna do a couple sprays there. I'm gonna pick it up a little unevenly with my foam applicator and kind of streak it across here, leaving some white spots, trying to go out that way. That's, I love that color. This color is a, a definite favorite. And I think it's gonna have some rounded edges and some feathered as edges. And I think that's okay. That's something I'm gonna like about it. Let me get a little water and kind of Give it a give me a chance to do a little bit of filling in of some of those white spots. With some lighter color, you can see right here that's an area that probably didn't get a lot of gesso. And as we go out to the edges there, okay, I'm going to say that I'm good with that. I'm going to now take this gel and kind of go across that way. And now I'm going to get my paper towel, go over it, and kind of dry it. And it's picking up a little bit of the, the color that the gel is kind of lifting it, and, and I had hoped that would happen. Let me see if I can lift some right in there. Not as much. Okay, but some, some. Okay, now I'm going to put that aside, and I think I'm ready to start stamping now. So, first thing I'm going to do is this word stamp. Um, and I'm going to, this is not about stamping perfectly so everything is, oh no, <laughs> is absolutely readable. It's about kind of leave, oh, that's, that's great. That's upside down. Okay. Way to go, Kathy. Um, okay. Not not a problem, actually. I'm going to kind of keep it off of there. Let's go with that. And maybe down here. And I promise this is going to look better when it's all done. Um, let me do that. I've got some right side up words. And the more abstract and messy it looks, the more it, 
it fits with what I had in mind. And what I had in mind may not be, um, may not be, <laughs> may not be right, but, you know, it's, it's my idea. Okay, now we're going to go with the turkey. Got to have the turkey, and I think I'll just pick one of the cornucopias. Uh, okay, and I want to use that same ink. And I'm going to kind of Okay, you're getting a it's it's going to be abstract. There's that's clearly what I'm getting from this. There we go. And we'll do something like there. And maybe I'll try to get his face right there. Can't tell it's a face, but it's kind of cute. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side as well. Well, I'll put it there to wash later. Okay, the cornucopia, I'd really like for it to show. For, for you to be able to understand what it is. So it doesn't look like a very deeply imprinted stamp. There we go. We've got, you can see the pumpkins. Um, I wanna see the basket here. There we go. Okay. And then let's do the little wheelbarrow with the sunflowers and the falling leaves. I like the little falling leaves. And yes, this is a mess. So. Doing the falling leaves by themselves around different places. Let me get that. Okay. It's it's kind of a mess. And I could have maybe um, planned it out a little bit better. But you know, you, um, you get an idea in your head and it's, it doesn't always come out as you had imagined, but there's usually something you can do about it. So let me put this on here and see let me use this to burnish that down. And what I thought I might do is maybe add some of these stickers, like maybe something right here that says note. And I might, uh, let's go, I like this arrow because it's the same color as the shirt. Let me put it on some foam. See if we can add enough stuff that that um, really awful stamping can kind of fade into the background where it belongs. Okay, let's see, I might like it here because that's kind of an empty spot. Okay, I've got a star that can go there and I'll put another one here and another one down here. 
Okay, I've got some little stars to kind of spread about, and they're in appropriate colors, I think, for the overall look of the page. Let's see, that's all I have of those. And I have more hearts, but let's see something else that I could maybe do. Let me try this. I'm gonna This has picked up some of the brown. What I was going for was to kind of blend in some of the brown. And it's picked it up and made the teal a lot greener. Let me pick this up so that I can kind of continue it over here. And then I'll add it back. What I'm hoping to accomplish here is to make the messiness look more intentional, um, which is just kind of a, a good approach to art, I think. <laughs> to, if, you've, if you're not happy with something, you know, kind of make it look intentional. So right here where you the words are upside down, I can kind of make that look intentional. I think I'm done with all my um, my fix it moves because I'm not entirely happy with all of that. I say I'm finished and then I keep on going, right? That's, um, that's kind of what I do. Okay, I'm not um, over the top happy with it, but I love it because basically I love that photo and I don't think I've ever scrapped it before. So I'm gonna leave it and I think after, um, you know, if it, when it hangs around for a little while and by the time it goes into the album, I think I'll be thrilled with it. I think I'll love it. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. um, hope you'll join us again for, hope you'll, first of all, hope you'll go out and check out everybody who's participating in the hop and uh, see what they've done. See if they've made a mess like this. Um, I, I am... Uh, the leader of the uh, Getting Messy with Scrappy Kathy <laughs> uh, challenge at Secret Not Secret Kit Club. So now you see why. And happy Thanksgiving to those of you in the U.S. And happy fall to everyone everywhere. And um, I'll see you next Friday for the regular uh, lift. Bye. <laughs>